Hello friends, how are you doing day 207 on this amazing, beautiful, scorcher of a day, <laughs> Saturday in beautiful Vancouver, Canada. It's about, uh, what time is it, 8? A little bit after 8 p.m. And it's over 30 degrees out still. I think it's like almost mid-30s. And for you Americans, that's like uh, mid-80s, I think. Close to 90s. But uh, yeah, it is definitely very, very hot here where vancouver doesn't usually get that way and if we do it's usually uh, a relatively short heat wave it's supposed to be pretty hot for a week coming up so for those of you who live in the lower mainland or even bc in general uh, make sure you take care of yourself and so uh, i had uh, posted a link on just some tips on how to how to deal with the extreme weather or warm weather for us First and foremost, you want to stay hydrated. Uh, and that's what you do, is just drink lots of fluids, lots of liquid. Ideally, water. Uh, liquids don't mean like uh, alcohol. <laughs> That'll dehydrate you. But water is the best thing you do um, to stay hydrated. Uh, secondly, um, when it's hottest during the day, between usually mm, 10 a.m. to about 4 p.m., you want to stay out of the sun if possible. Um, and if your house doesn't have AC, maybe go find a facility that does. Maybe a community center. Maybe <laughs> someone zooming through a small road here. Uh, maybe the mall, actually, right? Um, or if you have kids, maybe water parks. That'll help keep them dry, or a river, or what have you, a creek. Uh, either way, stay. Uh, try to stay cool as best as you can. Another way is maybe uh, grab a, a spray bottle, fill it with cold water, <laughs> spray yourself every once in a while. Uh, a wet towel also works as well over your forehead um, or maybe even your body. Okay. Of course, the simplest one is go take a cold shower. You definitely don't want to be overheating because if you do, um, you know, you can get dizzy, you can faint. Uh, not good. So that's why it's so important to make sure that you take care of your body. Your body will tell you what you need. Just make sure that you listen to it. But of course, I believe in prevention more than um, trying to fix stuff after the fact. And then um, another tip is to uh, close your windows in the morning. That way you keep the quote unquote cool air from the night before inside your home um, and prevent the hot air that's wearing up through the day from getting into your home. And of course you wanna close the shades so you don't get the extra the extra heat and uh last but not least check on each other check on some other people friends family just people just make sure that they're doing okay with the heat um because you never know how somebody responds to again uh <clears throat> extreme change <laughs> and for vancouver this is quite extreme uh, i think tomorrow in the next couple of days it's supposed to get over 40 degrees celsius oh my gosh and uh, I'm used to that when I go to Vegas, but that's a very, very dry heat. In Vancouver, it's a little bit more humid. I can't even imagine some people down south, but uh, you know, it's important that you guys take care of yourselves while it's extremely hot. <clears throat> so I just want to come in today and just uh, kind of share a few tips and just to remind you guys, take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and uh, that I love you. Okay, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.